it's Katie and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing my 2020 plan with me that honestly no one really asked for but we're going to do it anyways. So the journal I'm using is the Suki journal from Notebook Therapy and it's really nice. I'm loving it so far. So for my yearly spreads, I'm going to be using a limited color scheme of pink, blue, purple, and yellow slash orange. Hopefully this will ensure that I like these first few pages for the rest of the year. So to begin each new year in my bullet journal, I like to create a little title page that has, you know, what year it is. So this year it is going to be 2020. And yes, I did write it twice um, in both numbers and words, just in case you didn't get the message the first time, because honestly, that's me. I always forget that it's a new year for like the first three months, which is kind of a hassle. Anyways, moving on to the decorations. I'm going to be using these different highlighters. Four of them are the mild liners, and then the pink is a Stabilo, Stabilo fine liner. My bad. And I'm just going to be doing these little triangles all around 2020. And I did a similar spread last year for January and I really liked it, so I wanted to emulate it in this year. So after you finish drawing all of the triangles in however many color thingies you want, I'm going to be taking my corresponding Pentel sign brush pen and drawing these little triangles on top of the other triangles. As you can tell, I really like triangles. But for this design, you want to make sure that the outline triangles are a little bit staggered off of the like highlighter triangle as you can see it like creates this cool like glass effect that I like yeah this is really easy so like if you're a beginner bullet journaling be that made no sense if you are a beginner bullet journaler this is a really easy design you can do So next, I'm going to be taking my different mild liner colors and just highlighting slash giving the 2020 a shadow because it was looking just a little bit plain. And I realized I forgot to outline that one triangle and you know, it bothers me a little bit. So I'm going to go fix that right now. If you want to see the finished product, check out my Instagram. Um, sorry for the shameless plug, but anyways. So after this, we're going to move on to my yearly calendar. As I said earlier, this is my yearly calendar, and for this year, I decided to just stick with doing the different days because um, I've seen other bullet journalers, they do like a year at a glance, which basically is like one month and then a little space next to it where you can put like important dates. And I tried doing that um, a few years ago and it didn't help me, so I decided not to do it this year. And that's what I like about bullet journaling is you can like customize it to your own like preferences you, it's not like something you bought at like walmart where you have to use everything they give you you're making it yourself which means you can put whatever you want which is nice this next part is pretty self-explanatory i'm just writing sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday on the top and then i'm gonna go in and do all the different dates and let me tell you by the end of this my hand was cramping like no other it was very tired and but i did it for the video okay usually i would like take a break halfway through because i'm weak but i i strained through it i finished it the numbers around december look a little wonky but that's fine no one no one really looks right so yeah but it's also pretty satisfying to look at if i must say so myself next i'm just taking this washi tape that kind of matched the color scheme and taking an ungodly amount of time trying to make it straight because it was pretty and i like washi tape finally to finish off the spread i took this gray mild liner and just highlighted 2020. On the right side of the 
bullet journal spread, I decided to do a 2020 resolutions, which I'm hoping to look back at over the following year and see if I've accomplished my goals. And for the font, I decided to do this one because I saw Amanda Rachel Lee do it in one of her recent videos and it looked really cool, so I decided to try it. And I'm actually pretty proud of myself because it looks quite nice if I must say so myself um, and not to brag or anything. <laughs> Uh, I'm also taking this gray mild lighter and giving it a little shadow just so it looks a little less plain. Moving on, I decided to start with my resolutions and I didn't fill up the whole page because I wanted to leave a little bit of space for future goals if I have any. So basically my resolutions were to learn to understand myself and others and then to exercise, as well as to stop caring about academic achievement, which will probably be impossible, but I'll try. And then next is to start my postcard business, kind of like selling art prints, and then finally some like little social media things and like YouTube milestones. On the next spread in my yearly plan with me, I decided to do a quote slash song lyric that like resonated with me for 2020. So I chose the song Sunflower by Rex Orange County and the lyrics from the stanza that I chose are, I don't want to see you cry, you don't have to feel this emptiness. She said, I'll love you till the day that I die. Well, maybe she's right, cause I don't want to feel like I'm not me. To be honest, I don't even know why. I let myself get down in the first place. So I'm going to try to explain how I feel, but I'm not very good at that. So this is not going to be a very good explanation, but I'm going to try. So here we go. Basically, 2019 was rough. I'll get into that later in like the next clip, but for 2020, I just want to, you know, accept myself and feel that I'm awesome. And that one line that says, I don't want to feel like I'm not me. I just, I don't know. I just want to be like, you know, happy with who I am. That sounds so cringy, but that's the best I can do. Yeah. It's, it's, um, I don't know. I'm not good at explaining myself much less talking about feelings. Feelings suck. But anyways, hopefully 2020 will be better than 2019. Oh, also you should check out the song, it's pretty good. I also like Best Friend by Rex Orange County, pretty good. Anyways, I'm gonna be pasting this into my bullet journal using some washi tape and this little stamp sticker sheet that I got from AliExpress. I'll link my like AliExpress haul in the cards in the top right corner. Look at me being a YouTuber. But yeah. I really like quotes and song lyrics even though it's like pretty cringe. And, like super, you know, let's all be happy together. But I think it's it's, it's, a, it's a good way to like put how you feel into something that already exists so you don't have to come up with it yourself because putting what you feel into words is difficult for me at least for other people it might be fine but for me it's 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 one of the harder things oh and um as i said earlier uh i would get into a little bit more of why 2019 sucked so here we go before we get into that though, I'm just gonna explain the thought process behind the whole thing I'm doing on the right. So basically, I thought it'd be cool if I wrote a letter to myself, my 2020 self. Um, so basically, it's a letter from me to me and it's, it's super cute and it'll, it's a good idea, you guys should do it. Because like, I've tried to keep a diary 
and it's just so much work it's such a commitment you know writing every day so i thought that like one single diary entry in the beginning of the year would be cute so yeah that's what i did anyways back to depresso hours with katie um yeah 2019 was interesting i went to senior high i met a bunch of new people very talented people who have a lot going for them and know exactly what they want to do in their life and i do not um and that did not help my self-confidence at all self-confidence levels just like plummeted in 2019 hopefully we'll rebuild them in 2020 and yeah that's just like basically what i wrote in the letter i'm gonna like speed through it a lot uh i mean if you want to read it if you're gonna go through the trouble of pausing the video and reading it i mean go for it but like just what i said is basically what i wrote in there I also used my jelly roll, my white jelly roll, to add a little bit of doodles, like some stars and some squiggles onto the song lyrics because when I was going back, I thought it looked a bit plain. So yeah, that's that. The next spread is a bit similar to the thing I said earlier about how a diary was a lot of commitment. So basically for the monthly review, what I'm trying to do is at the end of each month, write down, like, just like summarize everything that happened. If there was a particular emotion I was feeling or if something fun happened, I'm just going to write it down instead of, you know, something, writing down something every day. It'll just be a, a summary, which is a lot less work. It's only 12 times a year rather than 365 days. So yeah, um, I just, throughout this whole like video, I'm only using the same markers, which is, as I said earlier, the mild liners and the Stabilo um, Swing Cool, as well as the Pentol Sign Brush Pens. I later went back in with my gray mild liner that I've been using for like the past few spreads and giving the monthly review a little shadow that gives it some depth. I'm also taking my silver jelly roll this time and doing like little exclamation points in the letters which makes it look super shiny which is cute. Sorry that was um, a bit aggressive. It's actually 1.26 in the morning when I'm recording this voiceover, so my brain isn't really functioning properly and I can't come up with words. My throat also kind of hurts, which is not good, so sorry if my voice is a bit scratchy at the moment. Um, I'm trying to drink water. I don't think it's helping. Anyways, back to the bullet journaling in the video. I decided to try and be creative with this spread since it was the last one. What I'm doing is taking the different highlighter colors and doing this like border on the top but leaving some negative space for where the words would be so like you can see it because there's no color if that makes sense like you can see it like you get what I mean right and um not the best uh to fix it I tried to use the different colors of the pencil sign brush pens and giving it like a little shadow, I guess, if you can call it that, just to like outline it, make it look a bit more seamless. Uh, it didn't work, so I went back in with the gray sign pencil sign brush pen to outline the other edges. Does that make sense? I don't know. Anyways, I tried to do that. Um, it didn't- okay, oh! It didn't turn out great. I mean, it looks fine, but it, it didn't meet my expectations. Oh, I forgot to, um, explain what this spread is about. So basically, you know those Spotify 
like at the end of the year spotify will tell you what your most listened to artists were or what songs slash playlist were the most popular for you i wanted to do something like that um, every month i'm going to cut out a little album cover of the song that i listen to the most or love the most at the moment and then paste it into my journal and by the end of it like around december i can look back and see how my music tastes have changed if it like matches my emotions throughout the year because i can flip through this one and the previous spread about the monthly review and see if there's any correlation between how i feel and the different songs or if i get tired of things after one month two months three months stuff like that and basically I just think they also look really cute. I did like some monthly music favorites. I'll put like a picture up somewhere and it looked really cute so I thought I'd just do it for the whole year. Sorry if the the fast forwarding like the times 1000 speed I put this at is like kind of like gives you a headache because of all the shadows moving around i'm really sorry um i realized after i filmed it how like drastic the shadow differences were so sorry about that i tried to like increase the brightness to make it less shadowy so i'm just sorry if that bothers you anyways um go these are all of the different spreads i made and my favorite was these- oh, not this one, just kidding, I forgot about this. I actually made a key um, beforehand and I'm just putting it in there. A circle means it's my daily to-do, a square is an event or a test, and then crossed out means I cancelled it. Anyways, my favorite spread was this one right here- oh, not that one. This one because it just I like all the colors and the fonts and all that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you recreate any of them and you're on Instagram, tag me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.